Good morning. I'm here kind of close to Drake to do Palisade Mountain on this beautiful snowy day. The drive up 34 was just amazing. Everything was coated in snow, really pretty. And this is just a really great hike. It's not too long, should be really fun to do in the snow. And there's definitely not going to be anybody on the trail because there was nobody on the road. Yeah, I just stepped in that. So you come up that road for a few minutes and then hook around to the left. And from here it's pretty obvious. Straight on out to Palisade Mountain. So these first couple hundred yards aren't too bad. Pretty flat, kind of walking through a meadow type thing. But it does have its moments and they're coming up. And that's that notch that you see sticking off the side. It's pretty prominent. Well, we're going to be going way above it. If you hate snow, you might want to turn this video off right now. I'm completely not on the trail right now, and I have no idea where it is. I'm trying to get up though. I just checked the GPS and it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good at all. I need to be way over there. And I'm back on the trail finally. Thank you once again, GPS. You saved me from going in the wrong direction. I mean, I literally did a 180. When you see clues like this, that lets you know you're on the trail. Let's see how long I can stay on this trail before I lose it again. But this looks pretty good for the foreseeable future here. Straight ahead. And this is going to be the really steep part. That's where you take a right and head straight up the hill. And then it gets a little better up there. Okay, I went to where the Cairns start, kind of this top section where it's real rocky through here, but really pretty. Almost up there, but still a little ways to go.
and I'm up to this top section. I'm definitely gonna make it to the top now. Straight ahead, there's some really nice views. back down and over to the real summit. And then here's where I came up. going to be the summit right there. And welcome to the top, folks. Palisade Mountain Summit. I made it. That was tough. Much, much harder in the snow, that's for sure. Everything's pretty clouded out at the moment we're not getting the good views that we should be getting I mean normally you'd be able to see all the way over there to Rocky Mountain National Park just everything that way so it's getting close to 1130 took me about two hours to get up here it's starting to snow and I'm gonna go over there to that southern point I spent a few minutes up here at the summit, but it's getting cold, starting to snow, and it's time to go. It's time to head on back down. I'm sitting here at the top of the boulder pile that I need to climb down right there. Okay, and here's where I connected with the trail. Trail's off to the left. 
I came from this way. Yeah, that's the wrong way. Let me tell you, this way is much easier. Look at this. And the one thing about the snow is it weighs down the trees and the branches are, are lower than normal and they kind of pinch in the trail in spots and you don't know that's where you're supposed to go. And then when you duck to go under those branches and you knock the snow and it all goes down the back of your neck, that's like my favorite part of hiking in the snow. Well, I just intersected one of my trails and it looks like I came up from over here and I went across and then I went over here, did a little circle, and then came back this way, exactly the way I went. And I went walking straight off over that hill over there again. And that's not the way to go. I'm almost back. I just got to go around that hill right there, and my car will be at the base of it. Back at the car and done with the hike. Glad I completed that one. Let me tell you, I was on the verge of a hike fail. It's like this far away. And then I somehow found the trail, made it to the top. And uh, I apologize, the views up there weren't very good. It was pretty socked in today. So I'll come back and do it again on a clear day. And uh, it will look totally different. It's gonna have an amazing view at the top. You can see the entire Rocky Mountain National Park. But anyways, that's for another day. And until the next one, y'all, peace. And now for the very last adventure. Trying to get home with no gas.